Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining our talk on the IMU Biomedical Science Program. I am Dr. Lim Chui Ling, your host for this session. We are privileged to have Professor Charles Anthony Rhodes, a lecturer in the Biomedical Science Program, to share with us the details and highlights of the program. Let us welcome Prof. Tony and over to you. Thank you very much, Dr. Chui Ling. Um, in the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you the uh, biomedical science program at the uh, International Medical Unit here in uh, Kuala Lumpur. So we're based in the School of Health Sciences. Um, we have a three-year program, uh, though if you choose to study part of your degree overseas, then it could be up to four years. We have two intakes, July and September. So why study biomedical science at IMU? Firstly, we're accredited by the Malaysian Qualifications Agency, that is NQA, and also with the uh, United Kingdom Institute of Biomedical Sciences. We have relatively long placements of up to 26 weeks in diagnostic laboratories and healthcare industries, and we have a compact study duration lasting just three years, um, which is one year shorter than most biomedical science um, courses uh, run by other universities. These are our partner universities, which if you wish to, you can choose to study part of your degree at. Uh, firstly, University of Strathclyde in the United Kingdom, uh, the University of Newcastle in Australia, and the University of Otago in New Zealand. You'll be assessed with the usual end of semester um, exams, um, and also in-course work assessment to include problem-based learning, case studies, practical skill assessments, seminars, and debates. So what are biomedical sciences and why are they important to Malaysia and the rest of the world? Biomedical sciences are biology and chemistry related disciplines used mostly in healthcare laboratories to diagnose, research, and treat disease. So for example, um, a woman may go along to the clinic at the local hospital because she was worried that she has a lump in her breast and she thinks it might be cancer. So the doctor will take some uh, background information from the uh, patient. He will consider the, um, the, the background uh, information that he's given. And if he thinks that the lump may be cancerous, uh, the doctor uh, treating the patient, uh, she or he will take a uh, small sample from the, from the breast and send it to the cell sciences department in the hospital, where the biomedical scientist will prepare the tissue for examination under the microscope, and a diagnosis will be made purely on the basis of the microscopical image uh, that is seen down the microscope. And all of this is done by biomedical sciences. Similarly, in a different part of the body, in, sorry, <laughs> in a different part of the uh, um, hospital, there may be a, uh, there's, there in the A&E department, there may well be a clinician who's treating uh, casualties who come in from a road traffic accident, and some of the patients have lost a lot of blood, and therefore they re need a replacement blood. So the doctor will take a small sample from the patient and send it to the blood science department, where the blood will be cross-matched, and the correct blood will be sent back to the clinician in the a &E department to uh, transfuse into the patients. Similarly, in a different part of the hospital, uh, there may be a clinician on the uh, ward treating a diabetic patient who has quite a severe ulcer on his or her leg, uh, which is at risk of uh, causing um, a serious infection. infection. Um, so the doctor will take a swab from the, the wound and send it to the medical microbiology laboratory where the, uh, the um, biomedical scientists will classify the microorganism by plating it out and culturing it on agar plate, um, identifying the microorganism and sending the results back to the clinician on the ward treating the patient um, and also advise on which antibiotic is best to treat the patient with. So all these um, laboratory investigations are done by biomedical scientists in the hospital laboratories in order to make a more accurate uh, diagnosis and therefore 
provide for better treatment and management of patients. So the, the biomedical scientist is a valuable member of the healthcare team. Um, all graduates at IMU um, are, will be, if, if they choose to study the biomedical science program, will be attending an IBMS accredited degree, one of only five such degrees uh, in Malaysia uh, that are accredited with the, the UK Institute of Biomedical Science. And this means that once they have graduated, they are academically qualified to work as a biomedical scientist um, in the United Kingdom. Once they've should take, also taken a short training course in the laboratory to ensure that they're technically competent. So as well as working in hospital laboratories, biomedical science graduates can um, choose to choose different pathways, for example, working uh, in the forensic sciences, so helping the police to crack cases, uh, to um, process samples and look at these down in, in, the, in the laboratory to, to try and uh, solve uh, the usually criminal um, investigations. They can work as product and application, application specialists for the big pharmaceutical uh, companies such as Roche or uh, AstraZeneca. They can, they, they're uh, qualified to work as embryologists in the embryology clinics. Um, or indeed choose to undertake uh, research in the medical uh, research institutes uh, throughout the country. Or indeed go on to do um, further study and, and become a lecturer and work in universities. Thanks, Prof. Tony. That's, that's very fascinating. It seems that the students will experience a very comprehensive curriculum and graduate with a vast repertoire of career pathways waiting for them. Now, I'd just like to know, during the pandemic, what do you think is the role of the biomedical scientist? Yeah, I mean, during the pandemic, the, the, the role of the, the biomedical scientist has really been highlighted. Um, for example, in the United Kingdom, they tried to bring in the lighthouse laboratories, which basically is big factories uh, in order to test the laboratory results. And frequently, these weren't being manned by biomedical scientists. And on certain instances, they were getting false positive results. That is, um, telling a person that they're positive for COVID-19 when they're not, or alternatively getting false negative results, saying that they're, they're, they're not infected with, with COVID-19 when actually they are. But if they had been staffed by trained biomedical scientists with a degree in biomedical scientists, sciences, they would have understood the need for certain precautions, certain quality, quality control, and how to ensure the reliability of the re these results. So in a, in a pandemic such as COVID-19, you really need to ensure that you're getting reliable results. And the only way to ensure that is to have trained biomedical scientists doing this uh, very essential part of controlling the pandemic. Thank you, uh, Prof. Tony. I think that's a, that's a very informative answer and it's heartening to know that we have trained uh, biomedical scientists to help us uh, fend off this pandemic through um, the right accurate diagnosis. So let's move on to the frequently asked questions where we shall address uh, some burning questions um, that, that, we commonly, uh, that we commonly encounter. The first question is, will my degree be recognized by professional bodies and employers overseas? Yes, most certainly, certainly so. In the United Kingdom, for example, if you have the IMU degree, um, you can go for the jobs and with a short period of uh, training, a few months, make sure you're technically competent and safe of working in the laboratory unsupervised, you'll then receive a certificate of competence. And along with your IMU degree, you're um, more than qualified, well, you're, you are qualified to work in any laboratory, any NHS laboratory in the United Kingdom. Right, thank you. 
Um, the second question is, will the practical placements, the long practical attachment in the curriculum, will that help the students who get the first job? Yeah, very much so. I mean, it, it gives them um, essential practical skills. Um, it makes them, it introduces them to the type of laboratory work, uh, which can be quite different depending on which uh, type of science you you which type of biomedical science you have most aptitude and most enthusiasm for. Um, and secondly, um, these placement providers are frequently the employers of our students. So it, it gives them a great advantage when they come along to the interview process because the employer knows um, these graduates already um, and he's more, he or she is more likely to give the graduate uh, the job than somebody who just comes into the interview that they've never met before. Oh, thank you. That's very good to know. And we will move on to the last question. Will my IMU degree allow me to further uh, my studies for a postgraduate uh, candidature, master's or PhD? Yeah, very much so. Either at IMU or, or anywhere in, in Malaysia, any of the other universities in, in Malaysia, and indeed, overseas, we have had graduates go to University of Oxford um, and also in Harvard in, in, in the US, for example. Um, so very much so, it, it provides the undergraduates training to go on to then for a, a master's degree or a PhD. And indeed, uh, in addition, uh, countries such as the US and Australia require you to um, do such an undergraduate degree before you do medicine, for example, because in medicine in these countries is a postgraduate training. So you'd need, need a, um, a first degree, such as the IMU degree in, in biomedical sciences. I see, that's very important information to know. Thank you very much, Professor Anthony, for the clear and detailed explanation about the biomedical science program at the IMU. And with this, we have come to the end of the session. And to know more about the IMU and the Biomedical Science Program, please visit our website, www.imu.edu.my. See you all, and thank you very much for your attention.